hi everyone Ravi this side welcome to engineering Adda. so today in this video we are going to see the difference between request body and response body annotation so first of all we'll try to cover the difference between both of the annotations and then practically we'll try to implement both of the annotation and then see the difference okay so everything we are going to cover in this video so let's get started for that so first of all what is request body annotation so request body annotation as the name suggests this annotation help us to read the request and convert that request to the Java object. Similarly, response body is the annotation that help us to send the response in the form of a JSON or serialized data, you can say. So these are the two uh, work of these uh, two APIs, respective APIs, you can say. So let me try to go to the new slide and then try to show you what is request body. So you can see this annotation is used to bind the HTTP request body to a method parameter or the object in the server side code. So let's say you are uh, you have one client which is sending one HTTP request and in that request you have some payload. So that payload is in the form of the JSON or the XML. So request body help us to read that and convert it to the Java object. Okay. When a client sends the HTTP request with a payload in the body such as JSON or the XML data, the request body annotation tells the framework to deserialize that payload into the Java object. Okay. It allow you to retrieve the data sent by the client and use it in your application logic. So this is the work of request body. Now coming to the response body, you can see as the name suggests, this annotation is used to indicate that the return value of a method should be serialized and included as a response body in the HTTP request re response. Okay, so when uh, someone is uh, wanted some response, let's say, uh, uh, let's say the client is hitting the get API and he wants some response from the server side. So that response should be in a serialized format, right? That is uh, where the response body annotation comes into the picture, which sends the response in the serialized or the JSON format. Okay. So when a client make a HTTP re request to an endpoint, the server process the request and return a response. Okay. At the rate response body annotation is used to specify that the return value of the method should be serialized typically to the JSON or the XML and send back to the response body, uh, send back as a response body to the client. Okay, so this is the work of the uh, request and the response body. And these are some basic difference between them also. Okay, so I have already created one Spring Boot application where I have implemented the CRUD APIs. Okay, and uh, first of all, let me try to go to the IntelliJ and try to show you those things as well. So let me try to go there and uh, yeah, here it is. So you can see this is the application that I have created and let me try to brief you about the application. So this is the product management application or product CRUD ap application you can say. So you can see we have the entity called product and in the product we have the ID name price and the quantity and coming to the repository we have the product repository which is extending the JPA repository and coming to the service we have a product service interface where we have uh, created all the CRUD related methods and we have the implementation of this interface which is product service simple where we have implemented all the CRUD methods here. So you can see we have the insert, we have get by ID, we have update and we have the delete. Okay, so everything we have covered here. We have the find all and we have the find uh, by some uh, length. Okay, so first of all, uh, let me try to go to the product controller and before going there, first of all, uh, let me try to go to the application properties and try to show you what all the configuration I have did so that we can connect with the database. So I, as of now here I am using MySQL as a database and this is the URL and this is the database that I am using and these are the username and the password and these are some additional Hibernate related configuration and this is the port number on which our application will be up. So these are some additional configuration so that we can connect with the database and do some operations there. And uh, yeah, now let me try to brief you about the product controller. So here you can see I have implemented couple of APIs here, but I, as of now I have commented out all of them and uh, I will freshly create this API so that I can show you the difference between the request body and the response body. Okay. So before going to the implementation of it, uh, I just want to let you know that I have included the swagger dependency in our application okay so that i can uh, document our up our apis so here you can see this is the dependency that i have included for the swagger if you don't know how to create a spring boot crud application 
there are videos on my channel i will also provide the link of those video in the description and if you don't know how to integrate with the uh, swagger so there is a video on my channel you can also watch it out and if you don't know i am if you don't want to integrate it that is also okay okay i will try to show you from the postman itself so everything we are going to cover okay so these are about the application and now let me try to make our application up and try to show you uh, the in points of the swagger okay so that uh, as of now we don't have any apis because i have already commented out all the apis okay so i will try to freshly create one product controller class and try to uh, create the apis and try to show you the difference between the request and the response body okay so our application is up let me try to cut it you can see our application is up on the port number 9000 and if you go to the browser and you can go to the swagger endpoints and here you can see we don't have any uh, apis here okay so now let me try to come here to the intellij and create one controller class so let's say the controller class name is product controller class something like that okay and uh, first of all i will try to create one post api where uh, the client is sending one request payload and that would be inserted into the db okay so there we are going to use the request body annotation basically this is what i want to say so let me try to annotate this class with at the rate rest controller and try to create that api here so let's say it is post mapping and uh, let's say it is insert insert okay now let me try to uh, give the method name as insert product and we are passing the product as a request body okay so request body and we need to import the product here and now uh, let me try to go to the product service impulse class or product service interface so here you can see in the product service interface i have created this method which is insert product into database and we are passing the product as a reference here if you will go to the implementation of it you can see we are using product repository save method so that we can save it to the db okay so you can see this uh, product service repo i have auto wired here if you will go to the product service repo it is extending the jpa repository and jpa has provided couple of methods uh, directly we are using that so we are using the jpa provided method which is save method to save it to the db okay now go to the controller and here let me try to auto wire the service here so that i can use that method which is a, a insert product into the db so auto wire private product service okay and now let me try to use this product service so that we can call the method which is insert product into the db okay so and we pass the product reference we are which we are receiving as a request body okay so let me try to uh, run it and then try to show you the whole flow first and then we'll try to hit this endpoint and try to insert couple of record in our db okay so yeah so this is up okay now uh, let me try to brief you about the whole flow so what it is happening we when we are going to hit this endpoint from the postman let's say uh, what would be the endpoint endpoint would be insert okay when you are going to hit this endpoint and you are providing this payload as a request body then it will go to this uh, uh, api and then this api would be convert this uh, payload would be which is json payload would be converted into the java object and will be saved into the db this is what request body is doing now let me try to go to the swagger also and then try to show you that how this api is looking like so if you refresh it you can see this insert api is there now you need to provide the uh, payload here okay which is a json type once you will provide this payload and you will uh, uh, hit it, hit this endpoint, then it will try to insert it to the DB. So before going to insert this to the DB, let me try to uh, show you what all the products I have inserted in the DB. So for that, uh, I have already created one uh, 
find all APIs. So let me try to go there and try to uncomment it and then show you. So let me try to uncomment this part or you can directly copy this part and come here to the product controller class and directly paste it here. And uh, let me try to import this, import the list. Coming from the util and we have the product. So let me try to rerun it and try, and try to hit this find all API and try to show you what all the product we have as of now in the DB. So yeah, just wait for a few seconds. It is up. Go to the browser, refresh this and here go. Yeah, here you can see we have the find all API. If we'll try it out and execute it, you can see as of now we have five products. Okay. So we have the study lamp, we have a, uh, a B C D E, we have mobile, charger and car. Now let's say I just want to insert one more product into the DB. So you can directly go to the insert and uh, try it out and then provide the ID as one. Let's say the name is XYZ, something like that. And prices, let's say, uh, let me try to put the ID as, as of now we have five products. Let's say the ID is six, product name is XYZ, price is 10,000, uh, 10, 1000 and the quantity is one. And if you'll try to execute it, it will be executed and it will be saved into the DB. Uh, okay, so we can see this 200 response. That means it is saved into the DB. Now let me try to uh, rerun the find all API and then try to show you this. Yeah, so here you can see this record or this product is inserted into the DB. Okay, so our request, uh, our uh, insert API is working fine. Let me again try to show you the flow of insert. So what is happening? We are sending this JSON payload. Okay, that JSON payload is going there to this API. And it uh, because we are using at the rate requ uh, request body, this JSON payload uh, is being converted to the Java object and then it is saved to the DB. This is what happening here. So the work of request body is to convert the JSON payload which is coming from the client into the Java object. Okay. So this is what the work of request body now. Now coming to the response body annotation. Okay. So the response body is annotation is uh, embedded in the uh, let's say this get mapping or the post mapping APIs already. So when you are going to use at the rate rest controller, that means response body is already included in this method level annotations. Either post mapping or the get mapping, the response body is already included. So that is why you are not able to see it. So let me try to show you uh, what is the response body and how it is working. So for that, we need to remove this rest controller from here. Okay. And we need to actually use controller annotation so that we can see how the response body is implemented. So either what you can do, you can uh, use controller here directly or you can create one separate class for the controller and then uh, annotate that, that class with at the rate controller and then we'll see the response body annotations and how it is working. So let me try to create it. So let's say it is product controller. Class one, something like that. Uh, this is not the good con naming convention, but yeah, as of now we are not going to implement it in the production. So you can use it. So just annotate this class with at the rate controller. Now let me try to auto wire the product service here. So let's say product service private product service and I'm just going to create a get mapping here which will be finding out all the product from the DB. Okay. So just uh, let's say it is find all products something like that find all products okay and its return type would be list of products okay because it is finding all the products so it is list of product now let me try to import it 
import this as well from java util and let's say find all products we are not passing anything in the argument just we are going to use the find all method which is there inside the product service i will try to show you what it is doing okay so let me try to show you so this is the api that we have created we are using product service and we are calling the find all method of the product service if you'll go to the find all method it is returning the list of product if you'll go to the implementation of it it is using product repository and it is using the find all method which is provided by the jpa itself and then returning it as a list of product so this is what it is doing now if you'll go to the product controller class one so as of now we have created this api right but when you are using at the rate controller uh, for the class then you need to explicitly provide the re response body here at the method level so that whatever thing it is getting from the database whatever java object it is getting from the database it should convert that object to the json or the serialized data so you need to use at the rate response body here then it will properly work so let me try to run this application and then try to see if this api is listed there in the swagger or not so just uh, i just rerun it and then see so if it is working properly it will be listed else it won't be listed here so if you'll refresh this swagger page here you can see we don't have this api here now let me try to go there and try to include the at the rate uh, response body annotation so that whatever thing it is getting from the db it will try to convert that to the json and then return us as a response so let me try to run this again and then try to show you so just yeah wait for a few seconds you can see this application is up on the port number 9000 now go to the browser and refresh it so now you can see we have this product controller class one and inside that we have one uh, api which is find all products now it is coming properly if you'll go down and if you'll try it out and execute it now you can see all the products is coming all the six products are coming now so this is what the real implementation of request body and the response body and these are the difference between the request body and the response body okay and if you are uh, like if you are, you have not included the swagger in your spring boot application you can directly go to the postman and try hitting those api from here as well so let's say this is the insert api right whatever thing you are providing here as a json you can come here to the postman use a post request provide this api and then go to the body go raw and then choose json here and then you have to provide this payload okay and then you have to hit it so let's say uh, i'm just going to insert one more product so let's say it is uh, seven and let's say study lamp and charger something like that and just hit this api now you can see this bin is sorted here now if you'll try to uh, it is not giving error any error so that means it is inserted now let me try to uh, hit the find all api so what is that let me try to go there find all right find all capital a okay so just do that find all and this is the get api so just uh, use the get api just hit enter now you can see all the responses coming and the latest ones are also included here let me try to also hit this uh, find all product api so that i can show you that how the uh, like this api is also working fine here as well so come here and then just paste it here and then send it now you can see all the products are coming okay so this is the real difference between the request body and the response body and this is about the video if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks